Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of the G6150 from Huawei. So first, let's talk about the pros. It's really a slim device at 9.9 millimeters. So if you compare it to the BlackBerry, the 9780, you can see that it's a little thinner. It's a little bit taller. And the keyboard on the Huawei, at least for me, is easier to type and more comfortable. It has a nice spacing, so I guess it would fit really nice for a big hands. As I said, it's really nice and comfortable to hold. It's really a cheap phone. It's only about 60 bucks, something like that. It has a dedicated button for messaging and for music. The battery life is really nice. It's about 300 hours of standby and 7 hours of talking. You can add more than one email account, but you can only activate one of them if you want to use at once. As well, the text is really like clear and easy to read. It supports up to 16 gigs of memory. I don't know if it works with the 32, but I tried it with the 16 and it works really nice. And the most important function of this device is that it supports both SIM cards. Active at the same time. The loudspeaker is on the back, it's really loud and it's clear. It has a built-in FM radio that only works with the headphones connected. It doesn't lag so it's quite nice when you type a message you will not experience any lag or whatsoever. Another pro that I consider it like a pro, which is the headphone jack is on the top, so you can connect any headphones, it doesn't have to be l shape. So let's talk about the cons. You can save only 300 text messages or multimedia at once only. The reason is because the memory card is really small, it's about 506 kilobytes. Unfortunately, you cannot save on the external memory card because the phone doesn't allow you to do that. The photos of the 1.3 megapixels camera are really not that great and it doesn't look like 1.3. Also, the videos that you shoot have a really bad quality. It's a GSM device so there is no 3G connection. And the built-in internet browser is old style web. You cannot play video files unless it's 3GP. Uh, and the device actually feels a little cheap. I mean, the quality of the plastic isn't that great. But it's okay, it's a good value for money. And that's it. If you have any more questions, please leave a comment below and I will answer you. Thanks for watching.